I, I wish, a lot of times I wish I could go out and get myself a new guitar. And sometimes I go into the stores, but I just doesn't work out for me. Well into his 60s, you could say C6 Steve is the coolest pensioner around. This year, he became the oldest ever Brit nominee, and the talk of his live shows has become the stuff of modern day legend. Good news then for the fans, C6 Steve's latest album, Man From Another Time, is out this week, and we got the chance to meet him. Oh, all right now. We was heading west. It's kind of rough, you know, rough and ready record. We, didn't, we don't fool around too much. It is, we play, and if it sounds good, that's what goes on. And, and it was recorded actually on tape. You know, I, I just like uh, playing instruments that are more like, I'm not, I don't consider myself such a guitar guy, but I, I like, these are like my friends, you know, so, and they're a little bit rugged. Unlike most of the artists around these days, Steve got discovered later in life, and he reckons he's still getting used to his relatively newfound fame. I've pretty much given up, you know, ever thinking that I was going to be a success probably around 35 years ago. So, but I kept playing, you know, and trying, and then when this thing all of a sudden happened, it's like, I have, I, it's pretty much a pinch yourself every day kind of thing. I wake up and I go, Am I really going to go play for thousands of people, you know, or be on TV or whatever? It's pretty amazing. And he says he owes a lot to us Brits. Completely what happened is I went on the Jules Holland show, you know, and that was for me like day and night. Uh, and I don't think it always happens for people like that, but just it was my luck and I think the timing and everything else, you know, so, but it's, it's such a, it's such a almost like a miracle. It's almost hard to actually just say why it happened. I, uh, only thing I can think of is that with people were kind of like ready for something a little bit more raw, you know, and just banging on the ground and scream a little bit. With the release of the album this week, C6 Steve is sticking around, playing a string of dates across the UK, ending up at London's O2 Academy in Brixton. Uh,